Hey guys, this is Red and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. If you're wondering what I'm doing with those sticks in my hand, well, it's because I made a new secret 100% undetectable passageway and I need some items to activate it. This time it's hidden inside a wardrobe. So basically what I made today is a wardrobe to Narnia. Yeah, it's basically it. So as you can see here, I have a really nice wardrobe with all of my clothes inside it on the armor stands, of course. And if I get inside, you can see that there is nothing. Again, no pistons, no visible redstone, no visible buttons. Uh, well, we have these buttons here, but they're just for decoration purposes, okay? They don't do anything. Right, let me open this. Um, we can check it here, you can check it, you can check everything. And it all seems legit. We have a really normal uh, wardrobe inside a wall. What else could we have here, right? Well, if you come in my house and you see a wardrobe, go and check what's inside because I always hide my stuff inside the strangest things ever. And this time I have this passageway inside a wardrobe. Right, so if you wanna go to Narnia, well, you have to get inside this magic wardrobe, drop your items here, and boom, we're inside the magical world of Narnia. But you know, it's a bit too cold and I don't wanna stay here too much. So let me take the item back. And if you wanna go back, you have to access this item hopper, drop the items inside it, be really quick, and you'll be able to get outside. Now, it doesn't matter what type of item you use. You can use, I don't know, blaze rods if you wanna drop them uh, into your magic wardrobe. Just go ahead and do it. And you'll have all of the items saved inside this chest. So you can take ba them back, drop them inside, and get out. Now, if you're inside the wardrobe and you wanna close these doors, and you accidentally right click on these armor stands, just stay here on the back and you should be able to open and close them. Now let me go out and show it to you from the outside. And the redstone inside is quite compact and of course I'm gonna show you guys how to build it. Now I'm not really sure if this works on Minecraft Pocket Edition or Console Edition because you know, I don't know why but they didn't make all of the versions the same, right? And redstone on Minecraft Pocket Edition and Console, I think that have some different stuff is, is a bit different right so if you end up building this into minecraft pocket edition and it works just let us know in the comment section down below guys um, and also if you're wondering why my voice is not noisy as it used to be is because it's currently on almost 4 a.m and yes i'm recording at 4 a.m because i'll be away for minecon for about 10 days and you know, I have to prepare videos because you can't leave your audience without videos if you wanna do well on YouTube. And yeah, that's why I'm recording so late. But anyways, let me guys show you how to build this thing. Right, so I have here my magical chest of blocks. Let me take it, break it, and voila, I get everything here. Now you guys have been asking me, how do you do this? Well, all you have to do, you place a chest down and you press Ctrl plus mouse wheel while looking at the chest and you'll get a chest with all of the items inside. I'll probably make a video with like these secret key combinations because they're really, really useful. Anyways, so the materials that you'll need to build the wardrobe itself are four spruce wood planks, four buttons, four spruce wood stairs, a redstone torch, two wooden trapdoors, a piston, 12 spruce woods, two spruce doors, 9 armor stands, 1 oak fence and 10 spruce wood slabs. Now you start by digging a 2x2 two two hole on the ground, you take your slabs, you place 1, 2, 3, 4 of them, then you take the full blocks and place 2 of them here. Now we have to start placing the armor stands and the way you do this, you place 1 armor stand here and 1 armor stand here, but as you saw from the first part of the video, I have I had them really close to each other. I had three armor stands on each row. How do you do that? Well, we have to push them with the piston. So place down a fence on the ground. Then you take the piston that you have. Also take your redstone torch and activate the piston. Then you can remove the torch and voila, the piston pushed the armor stand near really close to the first one. Now you place another armor stand here. Don't remove the piston, just place another armor stand activate the piston and it should go close to the second one. And voila, we have three armor stands. Now we have to do the same exact thing for the other two rows. There we go, as you can see we have three rows, each one has three armor stands on it. And uh, after you do that, you can finally start building the wardrobe itself. You will start by placing some spruce woods, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, come on, one, two, three. Then we build the sides using, where is it, one full spruce wood block here and then two stairs like this. You do the same exact thing on the other side and you should have something like this. 
Now for the front we use two spruce doors, you place them so they open right. Right, perfect. Now we build the top using our last spruce wood slabs. You place one, two, three, four of them. Then here on the front one, two wooden trap doors, you close them and you take your four stone buttons and you place them here. They will basically simulate the nails on the wardrobe. You can place some other of them here if you want to. Yeah, this is just up to you. Now here in the back, if you try to place the last two spruce, spruce wood slabs, you see that you can't because the armor stands are obstructing the block. So how do you do this? Well, you place them here, one block on the back, and then you have to push them with a piston. You have to do something like this. Let me activate the piston with the torch. Okay, one, and then the second one here. Let me remo remove this, place a piston. Ah, uh, why did I do that? I didn't have to remove this block, okay. And we have everything done. Right, so this is how your wardrobe should look like. Let's take a look from all the sides. And I think that we can get started and show you guys how to build the redstone part. So let me get everything that I need. Okay, I have another magic chest here. Let's break it and I have all of the redstone stuff. Alright, so we start by digging three blocks here on the back. And we have to place the chest that we have here and two, where are them? Two hoppers that are going into the chest like this. And we have to temporarily remove this block because we have to place our, where is it? Our minecart with hopper, place it on top of the rails, then you can remove the rails. And of course we have to push this block back at its place. So let me take the sticky piston, place it looking this way, place the, activate it, remove the piston and the torch. And you should have the minecart inside this block, something like this. Alright, so now we start by placing the six sticky pistons here that are going to make the door. One, two, three, one, two, three. Should have something like this. And the six spruce woods that you have here near the pistons. So now we need an activation system that of course activates these pistons when items go through the hoppers. So we use of course our redstone comparator which detects when items go through a hopper and they activate this whole system. You place a redstone torch here, a building block on top of this redstone torch, I'm gonna use white wool and a piece of redstone on top of that wool. Now you place another building block here, a piece of redstone here, you take your slab and you have to place it right here. Then you should be able to place a piece of redstone on top of it. Use your building blocks to connect this redstone with the other side of the piston door. You should have the first two pistons activating. Now we're gonna activate the third one as well. So you place another building block like this and we have to connect the redstone with that piston. One, two, three. Now if we remove and replace this block, all the three pistons should be activated like this. Perfect, in this tutorial I didn't build a flash door because I didn't have to, this door is not inside the wall, it's behind the wall, so we can easily hide it and we don't need to build a flash door. And as you can see, it's quite compact, that's, uh, that's the thing that I like. And all we have to do now, we have to cover this whole rest of mechanism behind the wall and yeah, I'll be right back. And boom, we're done. This is how you build a working wardrobe to Narnia. Now, of course, it doesn't bring you to Narnia because, well, you'll have to build Narnia behind it. If you want, you can do it. But anyways, you can use this as entrance for a secret base. Uh, you have your nice wardrobe and people will think, well, yeah, it's a really nice wardrobe design. It has armor stands and stuff in it. And they will never think that this is actually a secret passageway that brings you to Narnia or your secret base. Right guys, so if you end up building this into your world and if you're on PC edition of Minecraft, you can watch the other tutorial that I did for how to make working portals in Minecraft and you can apply those command blocks to this creation to make an actual working wardrobe to Narnia. You basically go inside this wardrobe and you get teleported in another part of the world, I don't know, you can get teleported in a mesa biome, in a cold biome, and have this magical Narnia wardrobe. Right guys, that was it about today's tutorial, I hope that you guys enjoyed it, if you did so, don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up under this video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, I want to thank you all guys for watching this video, I'm gonna end it inside the wardrobe, uh, like this, in one corner of my wardrobe, and I'll see you all guys in my next video, see you! Bye.